welcome to part one of unboxing. Two parts. The first video is going to be the unboxing of the Tribe Beauty Box. And the second one is going to be of the Boxy Charm Box. I already recorded the Tribe Beauty Box, which you will see here in a minute. And then I got the Boxy Charm Box. And I have literally no chill when it comes to getting these boxes. So I'm not going to wait to do another video. I'm going to do it now. Without further ado, the Tribe Beauty Box. Hi, hello, welcome, welcome back. Today we are doing an unboxing and just a little bit of a makeup look, but mostly it's gonna be for the unboxing. I got the Tri Beauty Box. I love this thing for so many reasons. First, let's talk about the actual packaging. You cannot get more economical than this. This is stuffed with products, stuffed, and it's in just this little bag. So good job, Tri. This is a lot of stuff right here, a lot of stuff using very, very little space. This is our product list. December 2020 in Dreamland. The first two products listed are the two palettes that you could choose from. One of them is from Poppy Cosmetics, it's the Neon Drip palette, and the other is from Suva Beauty, the Saffron palette. I chose the Poppy Cosmetics Neon Drip palette because I already got the Saffron palette by Suva Beauty in I think my very first Tri Beauty box, so I needed a different one. The description of the Neon Drip palette by Poppy Cosmetics is create perfect bold glam looks with mattes and shimmers from the Neon drip palette. These 12 vibrant and super blendable pressed pigments will make you look hotter than ever. Yeah, okay, sold. I want to see it. Cute packaging. It is a 12 color pressed pigment palette and you can see the colors on the back but it rarely looks the same actually in the pan. Something to know here is it is cruelty free. It doesn't say vegan so I'm assuming it's not but cruelty free is a good step. Looks just like the box. I'm a sucker for packaging and this is pretty cool. It's got some raised print on here. I'm just a sucker for it. I love the way palettes look before you touch them. It is just like perfection. It's so beautiful. God, I don't, I don't, I, I hate ruining them. This is the Neon Drip palette. What? Yeah, okay, let's compare. Yeah, it's impossible to actually match these colors on anything. Nothing is ever gonna look the way a palette looks in person. It's gorgeous. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. I don't have to worry about it right now. Not right now later. Next is Down Boy Blush by The Balm, as in balm, balm. This sweet pink shadow and blush features light reflecting particles for an aura of elegance without detectable shimmer. Formulated with a finely grated powder, Down Boy helps create a smooth and even texture as quick as a wink. Okay, Down Boy. I haven't seen packaging like this in a minute. I used to see packaging like this all the time. I used to work at a chocolate shop many years ago. We were in the same building as this really, really fun store. If you live in Louisville, I suggest going. It's called Work the Metal. They had tons of products that had this exact type of packaging. I can't remember what this design is called, but it was on everything. It was on everything. So I haven't seen it for a while, but you know, maybe, maybe it's making a comeback. So many men, so little time. Well, yeah, there's not a detectable shimmer. It's great to have a blush that doesn't have shimmer in it because you might just want a matte blush or you might want to be able to add your own highlighter that has sparkle or shimmer, whatever you want. So it's nice to have a choice. Next, we have Pro Intense Hyaluronic Acid Illuminating Day Cream by Avant Skincare. Pro Intense Hyaluronic Acid Illuminating Day Cream is an age radiance cream that aims to illuminate your skin and consequently your day. Combining the signature ingredients of hyaluronic acid, seawater, jojoba oil, and soy lecithin, I'm not going to even try to read that again. I've already tried to read this like three times and this is the best cut. So. Fuck it. This moisturizer is designed to intensify the illumination of your skin. Done, I'm not reading that again. Fuck. Anyway, it's a moisturizer. It's a hyaluronic moisturizer. <laughs> Fuck. In this 50 ml bottle. Okay. So, Supreme Hyaluronic Acid Antioxidizing Duo Moisturizer. It's got vitamin C. So, steps. Clean your skin. Serums. Moisturizer, then oil. That's how it should be. So hopefully that's how you're doing it. And it's twice a day if I didn't already say that. Then we have Brenda Loves Dylan Liquid Lipstick by Solo Look. 90210 inspired, <laughs> can't even take that seriously, hold on. 90210 inspired lightweight vegan liquid matte lipstick, smudge proof, non-tacky and long wear. This shade is a deep true red with full coverage. Okay, I love red. I love deep reds, I love true reds. Brenda 
loves Dylan loves Kelly. Did we miss that part? I think it's Brenda loves Dylan loves Kelly. I am an 80s baby. I grew up in the 90s. I did not watch 90210. Beverly Hills 90210. So I'm not really familiar with Brenda, Dylan, or Kelly and I don't care what anyone thinks. I also didn't watch Friends and I'm not going to. Never. Never in my life. I don't want to. Blah. All these themed things, the Friends themed makeup, the 90210 themed makeup, the Disney themed makeup, I'm not sold on any of that stuff. Barbie themed makeup, I think it is cheesy as hell to be honest. And I don't, I don't, I don't even wanna look at the colors, I don't wanna look at anything because I'm put off by the themes. Although I will say the only theme that I've ever been like, huh, I would buy that regardless of how it looks is the, what is it called? It's, I think it's called The Child by ColourPop because I'm a big Mandalorian fan. That's the only one that's really kind of gotten me. Done talking about 90210 themed stuff. Brenda loves Dylan loves Kelly. True red from what it looks like right there. And yes, I will absolutely be using this today. The last thing we've got here is Perfect Pencil in Nut Bush by Iman Cosmetics. Line and define your eyes with this brown liner and achieve a softer look, different from the typical black eye liner. Creamy enough for smooth, easy application without streaking and smearing. I'm skeptical, obviously. I do not really like pencils. I don't really like pencils. They don't ever, ever feel creamy. They hurt. I have bad experience with pencils. I like liner pens. I recently got ColourPop's cream gel liners. Those are fantastic. They're fantastic. The only thing I have against the cream gel liners is that because it's not a pencil pencil, you can break up a whole big chunk and lose like half the product. That sucks. So you just need to be careful, but it's so much more comfortable going on the eye. I don't know. I don't know. I got a couple of eyeliner pencils in my BoxyCharm box from November, the Harvest box. And the description was, oh, we're, we made this with coconut oil. And so it's gonna glide right on and feel great. Absolute bullshit. No, it, no. Mm -mm. So we'll try this today. Also, another thing that interests me other than just seeing if it is different is it's brown and I love black liner. I'm a black liner girl. So I'm interested to try something different. Brown, okay, we'll see. Yeah, softer look. I've been not really doing soft looks, so gonna be worth a try, I guess. So before I actually put anything on my face, we're doing swatches. I don't wanna touch you. I don't wanna touch you, you're beautiful. We're gonna do the mattes first and then the shimmers. So the first we're gonna do is slimy, pigmented. Next is kiki. Yeah, oh, <laughs> if any of you know me, and by know me, I mean watch my YouTube videos, you know how obsessed I am with yellow. Do you see this, people? Do you see this? Do you see this yellow right here? Well, my boyfriend's gonna make fun of me probably. Yeah, I I knew I would love this palette. So I was notified that you would be able to pick the palette if you were a Tribe subscriber at 7 p.m. on whatever day it was. So I set my alarm for like five minutes till and that five minutes I was sitting there and just waiting and waiting and waiting. As soon as it hit seven o'clock, I picked this palette because that's how much I wanted it. Next, clout, this pink one. You guys, these are fun and pigmented. So far, I'm super happy. Culture is next. Mm -hmm. Okay, I don't even have anything left to say about these guys because now my expectations are really high. Then side chick. Oh, you guys. Two more mats to go. Freaky. That did not come out as I had expected. That's the only one that came out differently than I thought it was going to. Not mad, that's just different. I, well, I'm not mad. I was just hoping it would be more purple because let me show you again. It just looks more purple here. You know what? I guess it does look the same, my bad. Last one, Batty. Okay. Yeah, fine. I'm least excited about the last two. The rest of them are super fun. I'm sure they're all fun. I'm just being judgmental. Now onto the shimmers. We have five shimmers. First one we're gonna try is wet. All right, it's more of a subtle shimmer. Now lit. I'm excited about this color. Yeah, I'm excited about this one. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, that's the one I was most excited about. Yep. Three more. Flex. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That's exciting. Poppin'. 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's popping. It's popping. Last but not least, slippery. And that's all we've got. This is the Neon Drip Palette by Poppy Cosmetics. Very satisfying. Incredibly satisfying. I do not have a single palette like it. Those shimmers. That was my elbow that, it was my shoulder that just popped. What, what's my body? Super stoked. Super stoked. Very excited. <laughs> yep, met my expectations. Let's see what down boy looks like, the blush. Subtle, very subtle. Yeah, I like it. Let's go ahead and see how red Brenda loves Dylan loves Kelly is. Hmm. My kind of red right there. That is my kind of red. Yep. Iman pencil. This is the cap, which is great because it has a pencil sharpener in it. You literally put the cap on. It's a cap. When you need to sharpen it, you just twist it. Awesome. Let's see what you look like. Oh, I'm not gonna lie. That did glide. That did. It did. High hopes. High hopes for this one because I hate pencils. Now we're gonna do a look. This is what we're working with. I want to use only products from what came in the Tribe Beauty Box. And I already did my foundation and concealer and my brows. I gave myself... Oh, that's not blood. That's lipstick. Well, let's go back in with my little foundation brush over here. Whoopsies. I don't have mascara that came in it. So anything that didn't come in it, I will use other products. I'm only going to be using eyeshadows and eyeliner and this lip stuff from this box. I'm almost feeling monochromatic. I'm just trying to decide between the orange or the like yellow and green. Let's do orange, why not? Orange eyes, red lips. That's gonna be an interesting look. I'm gonna start with culture, which is that lighter orange. I'm gonna put that right in the middle. Oops. <laughs> I already dipped it in the other color I was gonna use, so now I'm gonna use that color. I'm using Side Chicks on the inner and outer corners. My hair's in the way. It's still in the way. You know what, I changed my mind. I'm gonna do Culture on the inner corner and the middle. I'm doing Side Chick on the outer corner because I'm gonna be putting Pop In, which is that shimmery orange in the middle. Back with culture, I'm gonna put that back on the middle and on the inner corner. Oh, wow. The more you put on it, look at it, it's neon now. Wow, now I know. That is very, very neon. Oh, blinding. It's, that helps. <laughs> The light's just reflecting off the mirror. Blinding! Since that became so much more impactful, I'm gonna go back in with Side Chick, add more of that darker neon orange. This is really fun. This is very, very fun. This is exciting. I'm a big, big fan of these colors. So I think I'm gonna put, hmm. I completely lied about everything. I'm gonna be using more than just these colors. I'm inspired, what can I say? I'm gonna be using Freaky, which is that purple color here on my lower lash line. Ooh, you guys, look at this. Ooh, this is fun. I could do a whole palette look. I absolutely could, but I'm not going to. Oh, I could, I oh, could. I'm gonna blend Freaky out with Batty, which is this pink color directly below it. I did say I was born in the 80s, right? I'm gonna blend the colors in the crease out with Kiki, which is that yellow color, that very, very vibrant yellow color. I'm actually gonna pull Side Chick, the color that I used on the outer corner into the crease to give it some depth. Believe it or not, I was actually trying to go simple here. Mm, can't do it. Let me look at clout. Oh my gosh, fuck it. We're putting lime green in the inner corners. I'm just, I, I have to, you know? You know? I just want to pop, a pop of color. That's not really doing much of anything, is it? Oh, just a little, that's perfect. Oh, that's fun, that is fun. I'm putting slimy, which is the matte lime green down, and then I'm gonna put flex, which is that shimmery green on top of it. a very subtle pop of something else because these are all very warm colors even the green is a warmer green but i wanted like you know orange pink as like the warm colors and then the green is kind of like the pop the pop now for my finger this is flex 
just on the inner corners. That's it. I'm gonna use a clean brush to try to diffuse a little bit. I still wanna do the shimmery orange pop in in the center of the lid, so we're doing it. I'm just gonna correct a little with my concealer under here. Just a little, I went a little crazy with that shimmery lime green. Probably need to do this anyway. Not to get all personal or anything, but I recently became friends with one of my aunts on Facebook. Horrible idea, don't do it, but I did. And I was posting some photos of my makeup looks just to keep everyone updated on the different looks that I'm doing. And she, of course, commented that the neutral ones were so lovely. And the ones that look like this and the ones that have like dark, dark, dark lipstick, she was not a fan of. And so I know when I post this, she's gonna be so critical. Don't care at all. I did not care. I'm gonna try this Iman liner. I'm gonna try it first on my waterline just to see how that is before I actually put it on my upper lash line. Oh, I drew on my contact. Oops. So I have color my contact, but not actually on my lash line. <laughs> waterline. Not seeing a whole lot there, but I'm gonna try it on my actual lid instead of just my waterline. Uh, I hate pencils. That took a minute. Okay, okay, all right. I really wish I could get color on the lower water line, so I'm gonna try it again. All right, could be worse. So yeah, I guess this is a little bit of a softer look because I usually use black. I'm still gonna be using black mascara for one because I only have black mascara. This seems like a good time to use Milk's Kush Mascara because it's pretty fine. It doesn't do any kind of like fiber activity on your lashes. What did I say in the last video? Was it the last video? I always, 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 always get mascara on my left eye. I wasn't kidding. I was not kidding. Fuck's sake. Oh my, did you just, I am the worst. I'm the worst. I'm the worst. I can't do anything on my left side. I'm a mess. All right, now I'm gonna try this blush. Down boy. This nice pinky blush. Okay, yeah, sure. Yeah, it's a really nice, subtle, neutral pink. It's a very neutral pink. It's nice, it's nice. I'm just gonna go back in with just a little more concealer just to define this a little bit. Just, you know, just because. It changes the shape of my nose, it's really weird. Now I'm gonna use highlighter. I don't know which one to use though, really. I'm gonna use this one which came in another Try Beauty box, Net 69 Beauty Creations. Yeah, just gonna do it. Now let's go crazy. So that was my first attempt of using the Dreamland December 2020 Try Beauty box. I used the Neon Drip Palette by Poppy Cosmetics, the Iman Nut Bush pencil. Oh, I forgot, like probably my favorite thing, lips. Brenda loves Dylan loves Kelly, let's fucking do it. It doesn't smell good at all. It smells like chemicals, like really, really bad. Oh God. It smells like plastic, like, um, it smells like a plastic factory. Not gonna stop me from using this right now though. I hope that smell goes away soon because it smells toxic. But I mean, I love everything on my face right now. I do. The lipstick dries matte. The color is beautiful. I love the eyeshadow. The liner is fine for a pencil. Pretty good for a pencil, I guess. The blush is great. I think the blush is really fun. I've been kind of playing around with blush placement. I've been trying to do it here instead of here just to kind of play around with it. It kind of looks more wintry anyway, because when you get cold, you get cold like right here, your nose and your cheeks. So I'm just playing around with blush placement. But anyway, that's my explanation there. I am very, very happy with how quickly this Brenda Loves Dylan Loves Kelly lip 
paint or whatever it's called, lip, liquid lipstick dries. It dries really fast. It does smudge. Yep, it does. So it's gonna get on your mask, just so you know. I love it. I love everything in here. Let's go over everything that came in the box. See if I can hold everything. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, okay. This is the December Tri Beauty Box. The Neon Drip Palette retails for 29. The Down Boy Blush retails for 21. The Pro Intense Hyaluronic Acid Illuminating Day Cream retails for, is that real? $134. Is this, am I looking? Yeah, yeah. Unless there's an extra number, $134. It's like you paid for what? Three boxes or something with just this one thing that came in it? Okay, $134. Brenda loves Dylan, loves Kelly. The lipstick is 14 retail. And the pencil over here is the eyeliner pencil is $10 retail. So let's add that up really quickly. 155, 80, 190, 219, 220, 240. $243. This all retails. A total of $243. And the box is, I can't remember. I'm gonna plug it in here. $34.99. That's how much it is. So that's a great deal. It's always a great deal. Try Beauty Box is my favorite. It's my favorite. I subscribe to a lot of subscription boxes. I talk about it all the time incessantly. I am I'm obsessed with subscription boxes and Try Beauty Box is my favorite makeup subscription box. I highly recommend everyone getting it if you are into makeup if you are a makeup fan get tri beauty box you get all kinds of brands you've never heard of and all of the products are always amazing they're fun they're beautiful i think that billy's choices are incredible i'm super happy with it did you get the tri beauty box did you get the neon drip palette if you got the neon drip palette i want to see your looks but also if you got the suva beauty saffron palette i've had that for about a year now i also want to see your looks. What are you doing with it? It's beautiful. And since I have it, I'm going to show you what that one looks like. This is the other option for the December 2020 Tri Beauty Box, the Saffron Palette by Suva Beauty. These are the colors that are in the palette. I'm a fan, giant fan. I use this palette all the time. So those are your two options. Now you got to see every single thing that could possibly come in the Tri Box. So let me know what you thought. Have you used these products before? Are you a fan? What's your favorite thing in here? I think, I mean, I don't think. I know my favorite is this palette. This palette is baller. This palette is absolute fucking fire. I am excited about it. I'm excited to use different looks. So happy December. Happy unboxing. It's my mom's birthday. So I'm about to go have dinner with her and she doesn't know this, but we're about to play virtual reality games with my boyfriend. So happy birthday to my mom. See you later. Bye. <laughs> Whoops. We're gonna got all over myself. Well, you know, oh God, oh God. Oh my God. Let's go, let's just go over everything. Let's go over everything. <laughs> Try beauty box. Shit. Wait, no, 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 no. We're gonna start that over. We're back on the fuck, fuck, oh my God. And I think I said eliminate, illuminate, illuminate your skin, not eliminate. We're not there yet. We're in 2020 right now. Combining, I, you know, I wanna start over. I, I thought there was a typo, which would have been funny. Like, seawater. God, can I just like get through one description? Soy lex, less, less, I can't fucking believe it. This is gonna be like the fifth time that I'm trying to read this. It's, I messed up anyway, fuck it. To add. Just rip already. As soon as you rip, I can just take the rest off. 
God, anything sharp in here? Jesus, nothing, nothing sharp. Really, nothing sharp? My teeth, I got my teeth. I just need like a tiny little tear. Okay, I got it, I got it. <gasps> it's fine, it's fucking fine. We did it, we did it, we did it. 